try to wreck the offense every week, but with the way the Ravens run their offense, is it any more important what, what you and Clowney do against, against them than it is against anybody else? Uh, I mean, it's really on us up front. You know, we have to cancel out Lamar's uh, you know, scramble game, and, you know, extending plays, getting out the pocket. And uh, that's the challenge that we face every time we, we're going against a dynamic quarterback, especially someone like him. So it's not just us at, as, as ends, it's uh, us as rushers and not having a good rush plan. <laughs> Why do you think you guys, you personally and as a defense, were more effective against Lamar last time? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Oh. I mean, I mean, we were able to get some pressure on him, uh, get him moving, but not uh, going upfield. We prevented him from from doing exactly what he wants, you know, being comfortable. And uh, I think that was that was the toughest uh, thing for him. You know, not always having his his go-to in, in 89, who's a hell of a player. But uh, you know, trying to put pressure on him and trying to take away that first read, I think they gave him, uh, gave him a little trouble. How did you spend the bye and uh, you know, how do you think you benefited from it? Uh, uh, went to a doctor in Arizona. You know, lay down in the sun because it you know, felt nice. I haven't seen it in a while. Uh, I was trying to get some, some rest and some recovery. Get my mind off football for a little bit. And uh, now that when we get back, you know, I got to turn it on. Got to take a next nice step as a, as a team and as an as individual. What's your sense for the team coming off it? Sense of the team? I feel like they're, they're ready. Miles, what, what kind of difference does it? I mean, he plays hard all the time. I mean, he's been playing injured with the the high ankle, and uh, you know, he's he's faster than most people give him credit for. You now, if you turn on the tape, he's you know running down Lamar left and right, you know, all the way across the field, and like he has that kind of talent, especially you know rushing the passer as well. I think he's gonna be a very very skilled player for the you know, however long he's here. I know you're focused on winning rounds, but how much attention do you pay to TJ Passini and the sack race? I know uh, nothing matters if we don't make the playoff. I mean, DPOI is nice, but I want to be remembered for bringing some uh, Super Bowls here. I know Bake does and everybody else does. No individual glory, you know, that'll come and go, but you know, the city will remember the Super Bowl. If I win DPOI and then I, we don't win anything, then our names won't go down and be remembered for, for anything. Kind of along those lines, did you watch that game on Sunday between the, the Ravens and the Steelers? And I guess, did you see like more opportunities combined with your own film against them from two weeks ago? Uh, I mean, I watched our division. So since they were on, I watched them. And I mean, we don't run the same things they do. We don't blitz as much as they do. And it's just a different style of defense. So I don't know if the same opportunities will be there, just as far as you know, our scheme. But I mean, we know that you know how to attack them, and uh, you know, if we play off those those weaknesses and and uh, use our strengths, I think we can we can have a lot of success, even more than we did in the last game. Miles, would you expect a, a scheme change out of them, given how well you guys did in, in kind of containing Lamar, and are they going to stick with what they do best? I mean, they'll probably stick with what they do best. You know, they, they don't want to get him out of his, his groove. I mean, he's still you know, one of the best quarterbacks in the league, you know, just because of you know, what he can do. But, you know, there will be, there'll be some, some subtle you know, change, changes. You know, first 15 will probably be a little bit different. And uh, they'll try to get him you know, just to, to work on some, some different reads. Yeah, Miami was the first one to kind of start this all out, blitz at him. Um, you think that's successful? I mean, you guys blitzed a little bit. I know Pittsburgh brought the house. more than yeah, but more than you guys did for sure. Um, is this the way to contain number eight? Is to send the house? From what we've seen, <laughs> but uh, I mean, everybody has to play with you know, their strengths, and you know, if we choose to do that, then I'll we'll go out there and you know, follow the recipe that's that's been uh, laid out before us. But uh, you know, we just got to see what, what happens and what they'll do. No Sunday on playoff with that. We saw you and JD both have big games 
last time. What, what's been the relationship day to day, week to week, you guys getting to know each other and carrying that into to Sundays on the field? I mean, really, it's just about I mean, how we you know interact here. You know, he's always you know, cool to, to with the ideas that I have for for rushing, for for getting off on the getting off on the rock. You know, trying to trying to take some some of the things that I think about while I'm while I'm trying to pass or I'm trying to make plays and yeah he you know he offers things up for run how I can make my my run stopping ability better you know trying to hit the crease no know, knowing to take my chances and, and you know, you know got to risk big to, to win big and you know, that's kind of been his thing for for run and I'm trying to do the same thing. What's he do that's most impressive to you? Uh, he knows when to take his shots. Knows when to you know to. To go up the field, make a big play. He has, he has like a, uh, like a sixth sense, of to, to take that chance and and uh, you know, make the hit behind the line, or to go inside knowing that you no know, he has help. You know, and usually, like he'll be a guy who'll say something, like he kind of just knows, and you know, I, that's been his experience over the years. We haven't talked to him in a while. Do you think he's comfortable here, and would you like to see him stay here longer term? I would like to. I, I like his, I like his game. I like his attitude, and uh, you know, I know the numbers aren't where he wants to be, but we still got five more games. Anything happen? Did you feel like you guys practiced with a sense of urgency? I mean, you know, with the stakes in this game, did you see that attention to detail that you guys have been talking about for a while? Not as much as I wanted to, but you know, we still got another two days. Guys are sharpening up. And uh, we got leaders on this team who will, who will make them, you know, get prepared and, and get ready for for Sunday. Cause, you know, it's not end all be all today. But you know, when the time comes, we need everybody, you know, on their p's and q's and ready because you know to want to go home right now. Is that somewhat disappointing though that it wasn't? I mean, I'm not going to sulk or sing my head. I mean, the guys go about things differently, and uh, you know, it's it's not only on. You know, us as players, you know, as, as coaches, it's everyone. You know, having a you know, focus on the task at hand, and uh, I think we we all have to you know, look in the mirror and say, obviously, if we don't win this one, you know, there won't be any postseason for us. So we, we just gotta we just gotta come together tomorrow, today, you know, in meetings, and uh, and get right. Like I said, we still got another you no know, 48 plus hours. After going to Arizona and just getting away for a little while, would you say you feel a little bit better or a lot better physically than two weeks ago? A little bit better. You know, I was hoping a week would do me a little bit more, but <laughs> not as much as I, I'd hoped. Just the reality that at this time of year, nobody's going to feel great. You know it. Everybody said it. No, no one's 100% uh, by the end of the season or really mid-season. So it's got to be got to be the best you can each week. Got to get it. Got to keep on trying to. Stack those, stack those days, and, and recover, and uh, try to get back to, to where you were last week. You notice anything about Phillips running around out there this week? Uh, I mean, his his attention to detail has been great. You know, knowing the knowing the plays, knowing what's coming, you know, being able to make the checks, the calls. You know, him coming back and, and being you no know, ready to go immediately is you know, that's awesome to see.